Hi, in this lesson, we'll be seeing the introduction to the patching of Oracle Lib Business Suite. First, we'll be seeing what is the main purpose of patching in Oracle Lib Business Suite. Then we'll be seeing what are the important components that you have to patch in Oracle Lib Business Suite. Then finally, we'll be seeing different patching tools we'll be using. So first of all, what is the purpose of patching Oracle Lib Business Suite? Just like patching Oracle database or any of the Oracle products such as Fusion Middleware, the important purpose is the first thing is to apply any latest product enhancements. For example, if there is a new feature that is released in Oracle Business Suite and the customer wants to get that feature, there might be a patch which is related to that specific feature. And to also maintain the Oracle certified and supported product version. For example, I am right now using 11G database and I want to actually ensure that I'm going to apply the latest version of database or upgrade my database or let's say for example there is Oracle Business Suite 1206 and it is not supported anymore so what I have to do is I have to basically upgrade my release update for example or upgrade my eBusiness Suite version and the other important reasons is security and critical updates there might be different security f bugs which are there and Oracle every quarter or randomly they release different security patches or critical updates. And all these, all these critical patch updates or security fixes have to be applied. And then one of bug fixes. The one of bug fixes are very common in any application, not only Oracle. So Oracle Business Suite might also require one of bug fixes. For example, the technical team or the functional team will say that they are unable to work on specific form or the report which they are trying to run is having issues and when you check oracle support that is support.oracle.com you might find out that this specific fix this specific bug can be fixed by applying a patch usually it's called a one-off patch and that specific bug fix should be applied in order to resolve that issue and then finally upgrades as i told before it can be database upgrade or it can be Oracle eBusiness Suite release update, for example, or version to version, for example, 12.0 to 12.2, for example. During this, you'll be applying several patches to do these upgrades. And finally, for interoperability or integration. For example, I'm using, let's say, 12C database with my 12.2 eBusiness Suite. But I have to now upgrade my database to 19C. To do that, first what you have to do is you have to apply the interoperability patches on 12.2 which are related to 19C database. This is, these interoperability patches will ensure that Oracle Ebsen Suite runs smoothly without any issues even with 19C. Similarly, if you are upgrading your Fusion Middleware product, for example, I am upgrading my web tier from 11.17 to 11.19 for example. And when I am doing that, Oracle will ask you to apply certain interoperability patches with the latest versions of your technology stack that is database, fusion middleware, etc. So what are all the components you have to actually patch in eBusiness Suite? The eBusiness Suite application by itself, that is your application tier eBusiness Suite should be patched by using a tool called ADOP and ADOP is applicable for the version 12.2.x and what these patches will do is they basically update importantly the apple top where you have all the products related files and also they will be updating your inst top that is related to configuration for example they can even update for some files in fsne for example etc so these patches which you are applying using adop will not impact or modify basically the technology stack that is database or fusion middleware etc then the next thing is Fusion Middleware and all these four components starting from WebTier, Forms and Reports, Oracle Common and WebLogic all of them are part of Fusion Middleware and these Fusion Middleware components should be patched by either OPatch or BSU. WebLogic if you want to apply any latest, latest patch set update of WebLogic or any important updates that are released quarterly sometimes then you have to apply those updates to WebLogic server using BSU utility. This BS utility is, remember, applicable only for WebLogic. And the remaining three are basically Oracle Homes. One is WebTier, Forms and Reports, and Oracle Common. And these three Oracle Homes are located in FS1 or FS2, which is patch, I'm giving patch base because 
you have to apply always these patches on the on the patch file system not the run file system so it can be fs1 or fs2 for example and then web tier is located in fnw home then your forms and reports that is 1012 is located in ebs apps directory and finally the oracle common is located in fnw home if you have any gaps in the knowledge related to these you can look at the file system chapter as well so these are the fusion middleware components web tier forms and reports oracle common and web logic in fusion middleware as i told o patch is the main utility but for web logic you have to use bsu and finally the database that is also part of technology stack but on the database tier and for the database patching as you know already it is o patch but of course if you are doing the upgrade of database then you upgrade using dbua or manual upgrade scripts so in total if you observe there are four oracle homes these three are the oracle homes which are related to application tier and this is the database oracle home and this is the fusion middleware web logic component and this is the normal application tier patches so when you want to apply all the patches usually when you are upgrading for example or you want to keep your system up to date every quarter you once you apply all these patches then only you can consider that you are on the latest level of patching in your ebs suite so what are different tools related to application tier patching or basically the application patching ebs suite patching so ebs suite patching basically previously had only two important tools one is ad patch and ag ad merge patch remember these two are only for 12.1 and for 12.2 adop has the capability to not only apply the patches but also to merge the patches of course ad merge patch can also be used with 12.2 but actually it's not required anymore to be used so the important lesson you need to learn here is ad patch ad merge patch use use them only for 12.1 and from 12.2 we'll be using only adop adop utility that is ad online patching utility to apply all the patches of the application tier 